I think it started out as like Professor Wellman telling us, you know, we'll get some extra points on our participation grade, and then it like it just turned into like a big party, <laughs> just like just coming here, and they'd be like, you know, Steve and Corey and Chris, and uh, like it just felt really good. Yes, I like them to go to the site at least 10 hours. To me that means 8 visits, but most of them go 10 to 15 hours. And I require them to almost be like a camera or an anthropologist. And the first 3 or 4 visits they just write down everything they can about the way it works, who is there, what the facility is like, what they actually did who they work from and as they're doing this familiarization in this case they were to identify a project, propose it to Debbie, execute the project and report on the project to me. And I said what I want you to do is I want you to come in and I want you to figure out what kind of program you want to do. Perhaps you just want to tag on to one that already exists like homework I have an uh, operation community care group if there's you know if, if the ideas is what you're having trouble with, fine. You can tag on to anything I already have going, but I would love to have you come and start your own thing. And I said, you know, there's one little boy here, he's nine years old, and I've heard kind of off to the side that he wants to be a pilot. And I said, and you guys can bring something to him, even if it's just him. I said that he'll never get, for me, I mean, this is, that's why I love bringing you folks in and, you know, new phases, new ideas, and, and so on. So they brought the aviation club. They came and they st they visited with us, I think, twice, and then came back and said, "We want to do an aviation club." And I said, "Beautiful." When we had our first initial meeting, Debbie was like, "You know, you can do a golf club, or like, you know, you can do a, I mean, like a chorus and like have all the kids sing or something like that." Yeah. And uh, we were just like, "Well, we know about airplanes. <laughs> we kind of like them, so." I'm glad they, they, they chose a club that they're very familiar with. Um, it's something that they, I don't know anything about. And these kids, do they know whether the answers are right or wrong? No. But their eyes just get big as saucers. And, wow, you know, this is one of the greatest things. So. All right, you want to see if you can try that? What's those buttons for? Okay, so here we go. Yeah, you know what, Eddie? Yep, just a little bit. You you pull it back, pull so it scary. back, pull it back. You know all the way I'm back, all the way right, back. Right, right there. Alright, and then turn it really hard and hold it. Wait, and you gotta take Wait, off the power. Yeah, so there you go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Alright, now put it back to neutral. Push it down. There you go. Now gradually bring it back up. Oh, see, they turn around. Good job, man. Perfect. Now do you guys know oh, what right. <laughs> I like the students to believe that service means they can do something that other people will value. And that's maybe an issue with English class. People are very defensive about their writing. They're very worried about whether professors value them as writers. This is a way for them to experience self-worth as writers and doers and and to feel that they've accomplished something that's benefited somebody else in the process. Webster 90, uh, you're clear for takeoff. That's what you do, and then you go full throttle. He's gonna be right here. You're gonna go. Yeah, that's when throttle. you take off, right? Yep. You're taking off right now, Christian. I say there's nothing more rewarding than actually buy off on something. And, and be passionate, even if it's only for nine weeks or five weeks, but be passionate about something that is something that you want to share. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the Daniel Webster College students could just buy off on what they were doing, that it'll be easier for them to come. And I think if they start a program and finish a program, implement it, design it, develop it, take it where they think it might grow, take it where the kids take it, they'll get a lot better feeling that they've accomplished something. Okay, this time. Yeah. It's gonna be some turbulence. You know what turbulence is? No. No? Missiles? Missiles. No, no missiles. <laughs> the air around an airplane, it's all going up and down. So this is what turbulence is. Pretend like you're just flying like a real flight. Okay, you got a guy on your 6 o'clock, noon at 12 o'clock. <laughs> but here comes the turbulence. Oh no. Oh no. You gotta help, you gotta fix it. What are you gonna do? Oh no. What are you gonna do? 
are you going to do? To me, it's a great motivator. And I think from the point of view of my English class and from the point of view of general education, that service learning is a fundamental part of the college experience at Daniel Webster College. I think they're going to walk away with something more than just community service.